I just wondering, uh, I know that you profess, uh, the, you teach us that we're going to be raptured out of here any time now. So my question is, why would we, in, uh, I'm looking at getting some gold and silver, but if I'm going to be raptured out of here, that seems kind of like not too good. Well, here's the thing. The Bible says, occupy till I come. And that means we kind of, we have an eye that the Lord's going to come, but we do business as usual. And so if God is inspiring you perhaps to uh, do something along this line, well, then you can do that. You know, I've had people say, well, I don't worry about things. I just trust God. I go, well, do you have a spare tire in your car? Well, yeah. And I go, want to shake it, take it out. You'll get a little better mileage. And and uh, he goes, well, I might have a blowout. I might need it. And I said, don't you trust God? When you go into a store, do you have any money in your wallet? Or do you just go in there because I'm just going to trust God to find a $20 bill laying on the floor and I'm going to buy my vittles that I need? You see, there's a balance. And unfortunately, we find the pendulum swing to where God doesn't do anything and I've got to do everything to the other way where, well, God does everything and ha, I don't even lock the doors of my house at night. I leave the doors wide open because I trust God. Well, no, that isn't what the Bible says. There's a balance. And true Christianity, I believe, is the balance of God's word. But today we don't find that. Today we find extremes. Um, it isn't really thy kingdom come, thy will be done. It's my kingdom come, my will be done. I just use my magic faith words and I get whatever I want. Well, what if God's calling you to be a missionary overseas in a month? Then you don't need that stuff. You see, there's, there's a balance. But unfortunately, again, when we do not study the entirety of God's word, we get a lopsided gospel. What you, what you believe is how you live your life. That's why Jesus said this, we live by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. You got to have that. Your thoughts, Greg? Yeah, I know. I, 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 I completely agree with you, Joe. I believe in the imminent return of Christ, but, but I was always trained that I am preparing for Jesus to, uh, well, I am ready for Jesus to return today, but I'm preparing for him to return tomorrow or the next day or the next day. No man knows this day or the hour, but we definitely know the signs of the times. And, and, uh, you know, we're, we would never think about setting a date, but you just look at the uh, events of, of, uh, of the Bible bingo that's going on, you know, concerning what's declared to happen in the last days and we're seeing those unfold right before us all the time and and pastor mike is constantly mentioning uh luke 21 28 you know when you see these things begin to happen lift up your heads for your redemption draws near now uh with that said i think that god has uh, always desired us to believe that he could return at uh at any moment and and all of those in first john 3 uh, talking about those who are actually the children of God. He says, how great is the gift, you know, that he has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. And, and knowing this, that is one of the reasons that we continually are, are about his business and occupying till, uh, till he comes. And so when it comes to finances, you know, I commend you for wanting to, to, to think that through, but in the big picture, um all that stuff you know all that, that that's going to burn you know so i i'm i'm just saying be busy be good stewards of the resources that god has has given you it's funny that you mentioned that i just went and talked to my financial guy yesterday and i said you know i want to you know i'm i'm tired of the market the way it is and i'm not a financial planner so there's the, there's the disclosure there but uh but i just want to be you know, I, I, I want to make sure that I'm being a good steward of the resources that God has uh, has given me to uh, to hold for him because it's all his money. And uh, he, you know, he is going to take care of me until the day that uh, that I see him face to face. So that's what I'm trusting him for. 